Well, hello everyone. My name is Lorianne Smith, and I'm just doing a Survivor Weekend checkup or check-in video. And uh, it is Saturday, April the 15th, um, almost one o'clock in the morning, around 12:30, one o'clock a.m. <laughs> I'm just broadcasting tonight because I, I really feel, you know, I really wanted to do these Survivor Weekend check-in videos. Um, I wasn't able to do them, and uh, just too many things going on. And as you can see behind me, I've got boxes. I'm living kind of, me and my husband are living out of boxes really because we're planning on moving and then we haven't moved yet. So <laughs> it's been a little hectic and my husband's been in and out of the hospital. He's terminally ill. And um, so hopefully you can hear me and I'm streaming properly. But um, I wasn't able to do these videos as I wanted to. So I thought I'd do one tonight. Holidays can be hard for survivors. Um, you know, so many memories, so many, even if our family is, is still alive or our abusers are still around. Um, in the picture, it can be very, very difficult. I know for myself, that's not the case. My abusers are dead, and most of my family's passed on now. And uh, so it's mainly just the memories that I'm dealing with and uh, the flashbacks. And the month of April is um, has a lot of calendar dates on there for me that are, um, you know, cause me a lot of difficulty dealing with um, just emotions. And um, I have to do a lot of a lot of uh, putting things in place and uh, a lot of flashbacks and. I, don't sleep well when I find that there's certain months of the year that I definitely am much more triggered than others, especially around the holidays. Um, Easter's not so much one of them, but um, this this month of April is definitely a trigger for me. And so I just wanted to do a, a Survivor Weekend check-in video to just to be a bit of an encouragement for you, you know, just to just to encourage you to to make sure that you are doing the things that you need to do, just like I'm doing the things that I need to do. Um, to take care of myself. As the adult that I am, oh, 51 years old now, um, you know, I need to do the things, you know, that, that I should be doing to properly look after myself. And that includes getting rest, you know, um, reaching out to people around me, asking for help when I need it, um, you know, being good and kind to myself. Not being too hard on myself. Um, daily things, you know, getting up and doing the routine. Just getting up and doing that whole weekly routine over and over and over again. You know, establishing, uh, you know, the things in my life that will help me to get through these hard times when I'm not coping properly or having, you know, issues with flashbacks or whatever it is. And so I just want to be an encouragement, you know, to to others, you know, to other survivors out here who may be struggling and having a hard time and not, you know, have no one to talk to, really, and have no validation. And, you know, you know you're not alone. I'll tell you that right now. You're not alone. And you may be sitting in your place wherever you're at alone, but you're not alone because there's a lot of us out here and we're all we're all pulling together, you know to try to support one another. So I would say reach out and get some help. And if you're having a hard time and you're struggling tonight or any other night, you remember my voice. You remember who I am. And I'm nobody. I'm just a survivor of abuse willing to speak out about this stuff. Um, but you remember my voice. Because if you're struggling and you're having a hard time, I want you to reach out and make a phone call. You call somebody. If you don't have anybody you can trust, you call a crisis line. You know, you make sure that you reach out, you get help, you certainly deserve so much better, and so did I, so do I, right? Make the right choice, and get some help, don't struggle on your own, don't suffer on your own, I did that until the age of 42, and I wish that I would have got help a lot longer, a lot, you know, when I was in my 20s, you know, I knew that I was severely messed up from the abuse, I knew that I was going to have so many problems because I had been... Uh, wanting to end my life for so many years. And I knew, I used to wonder, what's wrong with me? I knew what was wrong with me. <laughs> I grew up abused horrifically. So, you know, I knew there was something wrong, but I'm like, what could be so messed up? How could I be so messed up? I always thought that I was going to be the one that wasn't going to be messed up from the abuse. Me and my sister used to say that to each other. My sister's five years older than me. We don't talk anymore, but... Um, we used to say, we're, we're going to be the ones that are going to survive this. We're going to be the ones that are not going to 
they're not going to be messed up from this. You know, when I got to be in my 20s and 30s, <clears throat> my adult life, I realized that, yeah, I was severely messed up by the abuse. And I knew that I had pro so many problems dealing with things, and I had never reached out. So at the age of 42, I finally did the right thing, and I got some help. And I am so glad that I did. And I would wish this for you, too, because I have a good life, a good, decent life. You know, I'm not... I'm not self-sabotaging, self-injuring, um, you know, sitting around in my own pit of despair, really, um, not knowing how I was gonna, how I was even gonna take another breath, you know, how I was even gonna like do another day. So, I've been there. So many of us have, and uh, you know, just I just want to raise my voice with the other survivors' voices who are who are shouting out to the rest of the rest of the survivors around the world. You've got to hang in there, you gotta get help, and you gotta survive this. And you gotta you you are a survivor. I am a survivor. I survived. And now it's up to me to make sure that I get my needs met. So it's up to you to make sure that you get your needs met. You will be your own best advocate to make those decisions for yourself, what you need, you know, what's gonna help you get through. I do shows on uh, Blog Talk Radio if anybody's interested in watching them or well, showing up to the chat room or whatever. It's just an audio thing. Uh, Blog Talk Radio. Um, it's uh, the whole issue. You can type in Lori Smith, uh, the whole issue, Blog Talk Radio. It'll come up. And I'm there broadcasting Monday and Friday mornings if anybody's interested in catching that. Just one survivor, uh, one child to be a survivor to another restoration. That's what I called it. And uh, But I, I upload them on my website, Born in Hell, if anybody's interested in in listening to those, I put them in video format because that's the only way I can put them on my website. <laughs> my website doesn't accept audio, so you have to pay for that, and I don't have the money for that right now. So it's all video, but it's really not a video. It's just an audio, and you can listen to it if you, if you like. Um, I go through material and discuss, uh, you know, different issues that survivors face and that I'm facing in my own life, and hopefully it will help others. You know, I've done a lot of shows there, like 1,100 shows on Blog Talk Radio, as well as several videos, but you know. Whatever you do, make sure you reach out and get some help. And do not struggle on your own. You know, do not be destroyed by your past. Do not be destroyed by the abuse. Do not be destroyed by calendar dates that roll around. I never thought I'd live to be 51. That's precisely why I'm doing these videos. Because this has been, this last, you know, since the age of 42, on my healing journey, uh, I'm so thankful to be here, and I never used to be. I'm really, really thankful that I made the choice to reach out and get help, because I certainly so deserved it, like I said earlier, and you do too. So don't let anybody change your mind on that one. Now, we do deserve to get help. We do deserve to have a good life, and you stick this out. You keep going. You keep on. What You get up. You just get up every day. If you can't cope, you make a phone call. Do the right thing. Get yourself some help. And I wish you a wonderful weekend. You know, wherever it takes you, be safe. And until the next time, we'll talk to you again. Bye bye.